And tonight, one parent says she is not letting her son come back to school here because she says the district is not doing enough to handle this potential bed bug situation. Oh. Tonight, Amanda Booth is keeping a close eye on her son, Tyler, looking for any sign that some creepy critters may have hitched themselves to him. Amanda is very concerned after a teacher here at McDowell Elementary School in Taylor found what they thought to be bed bugs in the classroom. I called the school and they told me that they had talked to the superintendent and they were cleaning the classroom and they were going to have a pest fumigation. Friday the 15th, two weeks from now. Amanda says she got the bad news first from a teacher. Surprised that a fumigation wasn't going to happen for over a week, she called district headquarters. I called the superintendent's office. They said, yes, that's what we're doing. We don't have to do anything else. And my concern was... These are going to spread like wildfire. Action News also spoke to a district spokesperson who confirmed plans for a fumigation this weekend. The district also said the conditions in the school would make an infestation highly unlikely. Until the coast is clear, though, Amanda says Tyler is staying home. I'm keeping him out of school until they can figure this out. In Taylor, I'm Tom Waite, 7 Action News. All right, thanks a lot, Tom. And you need to know most bed bugs get into homes, the stowaways and luggage, furniture, and bedding that is moved into your home. Bed bugs can get into a home through holes in the walls or floors or through wires that go through the walls. The insects can live for as long as a year without any food.